Okay guys, um, I haven't done this yet, so let's see how this goes. Here is um, the Osteon model that is used for your class. And I'm just sort of giving you a three-dimensional view. Remember I said when I showed you this in class, uh, not the model, but showed this picture in the book to you, I said that this is a um, a pie-shaped wedge out of compact bone. So the walls of the diaphysis of a long bone, for example, are made of compact bone. So this is mostly compact bone. We're looking from the top. This is a superior view. And then this is from the side, right? Okay. So the um, I'm going to first talk about uh, the outside of the bone here. There is a membrane. All bones are surrounded by a membrane called the periosteum. And then this is all compact bone. It's made up of cylinders. You can see all these little circles. They've pulled one out so you can clearly see it's a cylinder. And then when you look at the cut through it, you can see the cylinders um, go down. They're very, very long. Some of them are as long as the bone itself. See, there are all these. If you look this way, you see these holes. The holes in the center of the osteon are called a central canal, and they're filled with, they only show blood vessels here, but they're filled with blood vessels and nerves, and they only show like one red blood vessel. So over here are the central canals that are empty, and if you turn it around, then they show a blood vessel in them. So you can kind of see what's going on. And then I'm gonna hold it really close. Hopefully it can focus. Um, you see these tiny little holes that are in um, a circular pattern around the central canal. Those little holes are lacunae. Lacuna is singular, and they contain osteocytes. And if you look at the side here of the osteon that's been pulled out, again, I'm going to try and move in close. Hopefully you can see that the lacunae have the little spider legs coming out from them. Remember, those are canaliculi. Um, so the osteocyte sits in there, and the legs of the osteocyte go into the canaliculi. And uh, this end here shows a pink membrane, and the pink membrane is the endosteum. It line, lines the inside of a bone, and then this is spongy bone. There's just a little bit of spongy bone on the inside of the medullary cavity in a long bone. Most of the bone is the compact bone, and... The spongy bone then is if you cut away, which they've done, the endosteum, you can see there's bone underneath. So these bony ridges of um, tissue, their bone tissue, in spongy bone are called trabeculae. Trabecula is singular, trabeculae is plural. And then here is a uh, red bone marrow that fills spongy bone. So let's see how this turns out. Let me know what you think.